Hey everybody, Looks Into Swirl here. As you may be able to tell, we are going to pour some paint on a tumbler and then onto a canvas and then we will tilt it. We'll end up with a painted tumbler and a painted canvas and it will be fun. I have never done this with some of the ready mix pour paints before, so let's do this. We are going to use Deco Art. Uh, fluid art ready to pour acrylic in bright violet mint green deep turquoise Coral Oop, forgot to open that one fuchsia and Sky blue uh, It's an 8 by 10 canvas, so we need five ounces of paint. So let us commence Uh, this is a 10 ounce bowl, so I'm going to be filling it about half full. Maybe a little more. Make sure there's enough to go all over the tumbler and onto the canvas. I would say we probably have closer to six or seven ounces in here. That's fine. Let us commence pouring. Oh, before I start, this is a 20 ounce skinny. I get these from Makerflow. I will put the link below. I will put the link to everything below. And I sanded it and washed it off thoroughly so it's completely clean and ready to receive paint. Not really trying to do a tree ring here. I'm more interested in coverage of the tumbler. some. Looks like I got pretty good coverage on my tumbler. There's a tiny spot on the bottom, but I think as it rotates, that'll get taken care of, in fact. And there it goes in. Now I have this, actually I have this sitting flat on the table, and I have uh, the the canvas sitting up on little cup tops. These are the tops to the two ounce jello shots cups that I use. I keep referring to, to them that way because I guess people maybe know that. Um, 
So that will allow me to pull the entire assembly out and put it over here so we can tilt our canvas. And I'm, I'm losing paint off of that end, so I think it's time to do that, although there may be another drip or two. Let's see. There's a drip. Come on, you can do it. That one little drip, then there's another one. Come on, drip. You can do it. That's just hanging on for dear life. Let's see if we can. There it goes. All right. I'm going to pull this out. We'll let it continue dripping and turning over this way. Okay. And now we tilt. are covered. Absolutely stunning. I love these paints. You know that. I think they work so well. They play together nicely. They cover everything beautifully. I'm going to let things sit for just a minute while I clean up and then we'll do our close-ups. Okay, let's start with a close-up of our turning tumbler. Isn't that going to be gorgeous? I think it will be. It'll be Absolutely beautiful. Really, really pretty. This is the lower right hand corner up the right hand side. I love where the drips cause those like rosettes. So pretty. And up the right hand edge to the upper right corner. Across the top to the upper left. Down the left side. To the lower left. All right, let's get the whole thing in frame. And focused. I will bring you back to see how both the painting and the tumbler dried, so stay tuned. Hey folks, it's the next day. Here we are back in the craft room, looking at our dried tumbler and painting. First, the painting. This is dry. It didn't really change any from yesterday. It is nice and dry and glossy. It still needs varnishing, which I'll do later. But I wanted you to see how it all turned out. Very, very pretty. And then here is our tumbler. I'm going to leave it on the arm because the next step is to epoxy resin a coat of resin over it so that it's protected, but it is dry and I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. That is so pretty. And it'll be even prettier when it's under resin because that'll make it look brighter and sparklier. There we go. That's the bottom where all the paints sort of run together and make it more of a mess, but that's okay. The bottoms are different. So there you have it, folks. Our painting and our tumbler. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.